hello friends today i want to show and explain how to improve the efficiency of the pldc motor by using permanent magnet both stator and rotor this is the new concept okay Hello friends, before going to discuss the PLDC motor, I want to explain and analyze some properties of the magnet. Okay. First analyze, the magnets are attached in the horizontal direction. Please look at this. Here there are two magnets. The neutral axis at the center of the magnet. When the magnets are attached, what happens? The neutral axis shifted to the middle of the two magnets. Okay. When the metal piece is inserted between the two magnets, okay, look at this. There is no force of attraction because the metal piece is in uh, at the center of the neutral axis. Okay. When you order here, now I am going to add the third magnet. What what happened? When you add the third magnet at the right hand side, okay, look at this, the neutral axis shifted here to here, therefore the north pole appears at the bottom of the metal piece, okay. Here, next, when you remove the magnet and order left hand side, what happens? The neutral axis shifted here to here and therefore the south pole appears at the bottom, okay. This is the first properties. Now I am going to explain the other analysis. Okay. Here, earlier I have attached the third magnet in the horizontal. Now I am going to attach the third magnet in the vertical. What happens? Here, look at this. The two magnets are attached with the plate horizontally. Okay, one and two and the third magnet is attached at the bottom with the top side south pole okay the combinations of left magnet and the bottom magnet gives powerful north pole okay when the bottom magnets poles are shifted what happened the top side is red and the bottom side is blue that means south pole what happened the combination of right right horizontal magnet and the bottom magnet combined effect of gives a powerful south pole so this is the concept here look at this the similarities of the magnet and the batteries when the two batteries are connected in series and one battery is connected at the center what happened with the respect to a c get 3 volt with the respect to b there is no voltage available okay here the batteries reversed what happened with the respect to a C get no voltage with respect to B C get minus 3 volt here the C terminal is plus 3 volt here the C terminal is minus 3 volts so this is the same the same concept is used in the magnet by using two permanent magnet horizontally attached with the metal core and one electromagnet is at the bottom here when the electromagnet is energized the same concept okay so the combination of this mag 
this magnet and this magnet gives powerful south pole and the polarity is required the combination of this magnet and the electromagnets gives powerful north pole without power there is no force of attraction because the metal piece is at the neutral axis okay now i am going to explain with the practical here look at this i have used one permanent magnet at the bottom here one small piece of permanent magnet in the tube okay the distance for attraction the is the distance required for attraction is okay here 2.2 here now it is not attracted when you move the spindle upward at 2.2 the small magnet attracted by the vertical magnet now i am going to attach the two horizontal magnets so now what is the distance required to attack the small magnet okay here 2.7 look at this the distance minimum distance required for attack the small magnet is 2.7 so due to the additions of the two horizontal magnet the combination of left and bottom magnets given more powerful when the polarity is change here look at this the top side is at north pole now i am going to change the polarity what happens here the south pole is move upward okay so this is the concept i have used for the plc stator here when this is a permanent magnet now i am going to use the electromagnet instead of the permanent magnet okay look at this <coughs> the the vertical magnet is attract the small magnet required minimum distance 2.2 and the combination of horizontal magnets and the vertical magnets to lift the small magnet is 2 points 7 there the hand so the more power for the combination of horizontal and the vertical magnets okay this is the practical proof okay now i am going to explain here two speaker magnet and i have inserted at the center a stator core okay here for three phase six six number of core is provided at the center of the two magnets okay the windings are here this is the pvc pipe and this is the pole phase the windings are kind of wound at between the pvc pipe and the pole face okay this is the the poles are outer outer surface though this is the radial flux stator okay it is radially the flux acted the, hence it is called radial flux stator here look at this here the same two speaker magnets used but here i am using the electromagnet in the u shape okay so due to the u shape the magnet flux sir axle that means parallel to the shop okay this is the axle flux stator the, these two stators are utilized for the pldc motor to improve the energy 
efficiency and reduce the power consumption okay here look at the one of the pldc axle flex motor here i am using two speaker magnet at the center a metal plate and used electromagnet is used okay here this is the rotor eight pole rotor okay 